mainly members of the media, um, even as we invite you to this place, um, I was thrilled to watch the presentation and a famous uh, lady born in Nigeria, I think she works in the UK, she is one of the anchors of uh, CNN, Zen, um, Zen Asha. Uh, what, what happened in Kamukunjo is given absolutely important airtime. And so the world is aware of what's going on in our beloved country. Allow me then to invite uh, our brother, Raila Molo Dinga, our leader to come and make an important statement. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is a statement uh, by Azimio La Moja One Kenya Coalition on the launch of a digital signature platform. And I just want to announce, before I read the statement, that this platform is now up and running. And any Kenyan, wherever they are, you can just go to www.tumechoka.com and you will be able to access it. Last week, we announced the launch of a program of collecting signatures for the purposes of taking back the powers we delegated to our leaders. The exercise, which is ongoing, is meant to express the people's displeasure with Ruto and the rapt of punitive, unfair and unjust taxes that he has decided to impose on the people without the people's consent. This is part of the campaign of resistance, the civil disobedience and citizens' actions that we have decided to pursue to force Ruto and his regime to respect and listen to the people. The Finance Act 2023 clearly exposed the fact that our leaders have decided to take instructions from the executive and the executive has decided to pursue its own wishes regardless of what the people feel or say. Both the legislature and the executive have ganged up against the people and the people have been left on their own. In return, the people have decided, rightly, to gang up against the executive and the legislature. The people have decided to invoke Article 1 of the Constitution. The process we are engaging in is about the deliberate policy decisions by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime to make life unbearable to a great majority of Kenyans, despite the consistent appeal by Kenyans for the regime to take actions to lessen their burden. The digital platform we have unveiled today is complementary to all other efforts and platforms, including civil disobedience, tax boycotts, and defiance that are meant to compel the regime to repeal the Finance Act 2023 and take deliberate steps to lower the cost of living. These actions are also meant to compel the regime to address all the weighty issues that we have been pushing for, including a bipartisan reconstitution of the IEBC, audit of the 2022 elections, and an end to the invasion and compromising of parties and members of parliament. The digital platform we have unveiled today will therefore run alongside manual or physical signature collection. And we urge Kenyans to feel free to choose between digital and manual platforms 
whichever they are comfortable with. We are aware that Kenya Kwanza has questioned where we will take the signatures and the legality of the exercise. We don't expect them to understand. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand the people's power as at now, but with the time, they will do. But by the need, but, but they need to understand. We will not take it to the Kenya Kwanza IBC or their compromised parliament. We take this early opportunity to thank the 1.2 million people who have signed so far. We appeal to more people to come out and append their signatures to this historic undertaking. Note that 1.2 million people have signed this far. As we launch this, our citizens' engagement forums that we started in Kamukunji last week will continue. And Kamukunji will not be confined to Nairobi. And the people who demonstrated last week, Kamukunji will be everywhere and anywhere across the country where Kenyans gather in the name of justice and well-being. We sincerely thank the people who turned out and spoke loudly, boldly, and fearlessly in Western, Coast, Central, Nyanza, Rift Valley, Northeastern, and any of, of course, and of course, Nairobi last week. Eastern, Eastern. And Eastern. Yeah, yeah, and, and Eastern. We take note <coughs> that in the course of our otherwise peaceful activities across the country, Kenya Kwanzaa responded with live bullets and killed people in various parts of the country. In Nairobi, there was an attempt to assassinate the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, yours truly. We know they are getting it very wrong and, and missing the point that what Kenyans have started is a self-propelling movement. It has never been and it will never be about an individual. Just like the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. or the detention of Nelson Mandela did not stop the march for civil rights and freedom in the USA and South Africa, and that of Mahatma Gandhi in India. No amount of shooting, tear gas, or even assassination will stop the march of history in this country. However, we intend to move to court and the institute prosecution against individual officers who are involved in unconstitutional and illegal actions against protesters in the course of our activities. Our activities are protected by the Constitution, by resorting to civil disobedience and protests. We can't be wrong unless the law itself is wrong. Kenyans must never be made to believe that they are wrong when they protest. We therefore ask Kenyans to film, photograph, and record all those police officers who shoot at or in any other way hurt protesters in the course of our activities. Such officers are acting in disregard for the Constitution and we must make, make them pay for their illegal activities. We are back tomorrow at Kamkunji, Nairobi, and Kamkunji is elsewhere and everywhere across the country. Once again, we appeal to Kenyans to come out in even bigger numbers and make their voices heard. With the time, Ruto will respect Kenyans. What we started last week was only the first wave. Tomorrow, we must return with an even greater force and in greater numbers. 
And we must keep doing this until Ruto listens and respects Kenyans. Finally, and most importantly, let us stay united. We need unity now more than ever. With unity, the fight won't be long, and we will get many of the things we desire and deserve. Let us stick together until the end. See you in Kamkunji tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. There's hmm? a message from this side. There's, there's a message. Um, there's a message. And talk about Take the question, then response. A message to William Ruto and his illegitimate regime. We are aware that you have unleashed the Shagwa to plan evil for the leaders of the mountain region. We are aware of your plans and we want to warn you and tell the world that if anything happens to the leaders from the mountain or their families, it will be on you. I also hasten to add the blood of the protesters who were killed with live bullets is upon you. We want to ask you to cease waging warfare against your people when they exercise their constitutional rights. We want to remind the armed people, the police, that what we are doing is for you as well. We know you are hurting in your pockets, just like all Kenyans. When we seek a better Kenya for all, it includes you. Avoid being used to wage war on the people and remember when you do that, as our leader has said, we will come for you because we are going to prosecute those who contravene the law. Thank you. So I wanted to add, you've seen what has happened to Jubilee. The coup which has been orchestrated by Kenya Kwanza in Jubilee, trying attempting to take over the party and then using political parties tribunal to justify what is a criminal act. As all of you know, since the reintroduction of multi-party politics in our country in 1992, any member of parliament who defects from his political party that sponsored him in the parliament must resign or lose his seat and face a by-election. This is what these other members of parliament are trying to avoid. And now being criminally supported by the political party's tribunal to purport to be taking over a political party. And this move is not only aimed at Jubilee, it is aimed actually at crippling Azimio. That's where, uh, where it must be interpreted. Mm -hmm. And we really just also want to one political parties tribunal. You are going to be together in the line of those people who are anti-people, who are trying to undermine the democratic gains which have been obtained by the people of Kenya at a great cost. Mm -hmm. We are watching. Thank you. And I want to show them the papers. This is uh, perhaps in addition to that, uh, this madness by Ruto with uh, being obsessed of destroying Jubilee and by extension the party that may have more people from Mount Kenya started way back uh, in 2020. And what our reader has said about the uh, business tribunal being cautious in what they do is uh, uh, spot on. With me here, I have the judgment that will be delivered today at 2.30 this afternoon, already signed. And for the benefit of Kenyans, judgments signed are never available before they are delivered. This was delivered yesterday, and in fact, you can see the date of yesterday is on it, uh, but it's being delivered. It was available yesterday, but being delivered today. Uh, this is uh, uh, appeal number three, and uh, uh, it's, it's telling. The fact that um,
those who are uh, pushing a coup within Jubilee had already a judgment in their favor with them yesterday. Uh, you don't need to be told more of what is happening there. Mm -hmm. We also are aware of the judgment that was delivered yesterday. The, the, the result was delivered to us by Akina Kanini Kega through their tweets over the weekend. So it is clear that uh, within the system, they are the ones in charge of that process, and they are the ones pushing for the corrupt of Jubilee as one of the parties that is targeted within Azmio fraternity. And it is a clear indication of their desire to kill multipartyism in this country. We have done a letter to the tribunal, which will be delivered today, complaining about the availability of their judgments, and especially those by the majority, because the minority judgments are not available ahead of the time where they are writing them sasa imekuwa igine those people held meetings in bars to plan for the oster of jubilee this group of tribunal members are also writing their judgments in bars those in the majority and that is how why we are where we are so i want to say that whatever it is that we do we have hope that the high court will deal with the matter we will move to the next level uh, that is the High Court, and we, we have faith that the High Court, like it has demonstrated, will deliver better uh, judgment on this matter than before. Kwa members wa Jubilee, Chama, ODM without Raira is not ODM. Kama, Chama si tu ati kwa sababu mutu wa mechukua bakuri, ukibie, ukibie nae watu watakufuata, utakuta, utaenda na iyo bakuri yako mwenyewe. We know what we are doing. We the genuine leaders of Jubilee will give the final direction when and, 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 and as it becomes necessary. But for now, let us remain united within uh, Azimio and pushing for this madamano. Kesho mtoke wale wameimba chama wa waone ya kwamba muna jielewa nyinyi siyo bafuns kama wale. Asante Thank you. Thank you. I think that's it. That's Oh my, you answered your question. Well, uh, I guess that question is being put to a wrong person. But, uh, you know, there's always conspiracy of circumstances. You know, uh, uh, circumstances conspire when the, the su subject itself is ripe. Uh, and that's what actually has happened, that this conspiracy of circumstances. But I watch in the Jukwe for Saibi, the Vile, and the Seme Kwakiswaili. You come by Nataka, wa Kenya, Wote, Kila Mahali, Wale wa Fasi, wa Azimio, wa Fasi, wa Baba, na Mama, na Kalonzo, na Malwa, na Paranya, na Wajakoya, na uh, uh, Wairia, na Ndoritu Muridi, Wote, Na wanda mwe wa umumizwa Ata wale wa Kenya kwanza Ambaye wanataka mabadiliko Pa wanaumia Nye nyote mwaliku wa kesho Nataka mjumuike kesho Mwenyeshe ulumenga mzima Ya kwamba punda imechoka Last one Yes, uh, Apollo TV 47 You've said uh, you don't expect Kenya Kwanza to understand the issue of signatures, but they are also criticizing, uh, saying, what's the end game of the collection of these signatures? What's your reply to them? You see, let them, you know, because they themselves are saying what the Constitution provides. They are forgetting about Article 1 of the Constitution. Because that Article 1 is very, very clear. It says that the sovereignty in the Republic of Kenya is invested in the people of Kenya. 
they can exercise it directly or through delegated authority to those whom they have elected. Okay? So when they now go ahead and tell you what the constitution provides as to how to change a government, that is under the delegated authority. But they don't look at that power being exercised directly by the people. It has not been done before. So then let me just wait and see. Let me wait and see where we are going to end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.